All right, this is why I said be careful of where you're stepping because look at this. Holy shite holders, look at that. Oh my gosh. Uh, dang. What was that? Is that a dinosaur? Print? Dinosaur. Right there. That's my handprint from where I had a catastrophic failure with my hiking. Don't do it again. Right there, I stepped and went. Pew. Knee. Hand. There's the knee. There's the hand. Catching my fall. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, we made it to Red Fleet State Park. We're gonna go hike this uh, Red Fleet Dinosaur Trackway Trail. Anyway, it's supposed to be some dinosaur tracks on it. We're gonna check it out. It's a little warmer now than it was earlier today. <laughs> All right, correction. We're not in Red Fleet State Park yet, but we're start, starting outside of the park in BLM land, and then we're going to travel into State Park. Land. And if you have a American so, Pass. I have the National Park Pass, which I could have used, but I didn't know that, so I paid both. <laughs> All right, well, it goes for a good cause, I guess. So this random thing happened. We pulled into the parking. Some guy totally pulled in behind us, parked, jumped out of his car, shut the door, ran across the road and started hiking up that cliffy mountain up there. Like nothing on his back, no backpack, no water bottle, no nothing. And he wasn't even on a trail, he just took off. It's crazy. I don't know. Maybe we'll hear about him in the news or something. Maybe we'll be the ones that solve the mystery of where he went. I don't know. Cool little trail. Cool formations up in there. Check out these cool little signs. The dino tracks. Little dino steps. There's Christy going down on the trail there. These rock formations are really cool. And then way up the canyon, there's this deep gorge. And then that cool looking rock over there. Right there is pretty amazing. Well, apparently we're on the right track. They painted the rock to lead the way. Let me check out this nice rock formation next to the trail sign saying go left. All right, looks like we got something here. Oh, trail junction. We want to go to the trail left, according to the map. And the sign says go down. Go down. Oh, look at the, the leaves down in the valley down there that's pretty oh and you're getting the first view of the reservoir over here too well this trail is very well marked you got a line or a post like every hundred feet it's like they don't want anybody to get lost and if there's not a post there's a painted black foot on the rock a painted black dinosaur foot like that right there Look at all the prickly pear cactuses coming out. It's pretty. It's another view of where we're going. All right, this is part of the trail where you gotta pay attention to the painted rock because it's kinda hard to make a trail across this slick rock. So, you gotta follow the painted dinosaur feet until you get up to where you can see a trail again. All right, we got another view of the reservoir here. Yeah. 
Yeah, that area over there looks pretty close until you look off this edge. Uh, there's a little bit of water between us and them. All right, I think we're getting close to this track site. Do not pick up the rocks. I don't think it means don't pick up the rocks, but I don't know. Dinosaur tracks ahead. All right, we're entering Jurassic Park. <laughs> All right, we've now entered Jurassic Park. And we're on the hunt for dinosaur tracks. Looks like there's some signs down here kind of telling us what to look for. Something I read said to come here early morning or in the afternoon so you can see the shadows of the tracks. So we're here. Must be some tracks to the right. Maybe where the sign is? Over by the T there. Check those out first. Alright, one thing's for certain when you're wandering around this track site, you don't want to step off this edge unless you like to cliff dive. Because this whole area is lined with cliffs along the water edge. Holy cow. Like that down there. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, here's the edge. Christy found one. All right, let's go check it out. I'm staying clear of the edge because I hate water. So they must be in that layer of rock that she's standing on. All right, here's our map again. So just off to the right, right here, Christy found one. Right in this layer of rock right here. Right out, right there. Okay, here they are. So there's a track right here, right there. And there's the next track right there. Another track right there. Another one right there. And several more that go on up through there. So they're on this layer of rock. Yeah, here's some more. There's one right there. Another one there. Right there. Okay. Right there. Yeah, once you see them, then you can start seeing them. All right, there's some more. Bloop. Bloop. Yep. Bloop. Those ones aren't as defined. It was like the mud was super wet when they stepped in it. Oh, yeah, they're all through here. Yeah, there's another one right there. There, there. Yeah, yeah, they're all over in here. You just gotta know what to look for, I guess. Yep. Yeah, there's another one right there. Huh. I'm gonna wander around here and see what we can find. So these tracks aren't as defined as some others we've seen, but they're still cool to see. There's a smaller one right there, just a, it's not as big as those others. Yeah, here's a few more, there's one right there, steps to there, steps up to there.
All right, that is freaking amazing. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Okay. That's pretty fantastic right there. All right, this puts it into perspective. There's Christy up there. There's the cliffy alcove. And then down here at the bottom where it meets the water. But holy cow. Great place for cliff diving if you like to cliff dive. Oh, bass. Yeah, that gives a new meaning to living on the edge right there. Holy cow. Dang. All right, we're taking our time climbing back out of here because it's a steep booger. I didn't realize how far down we went to get down to the water's edge down there. Whew. But it's a steep climb out. Anyway, that was a pretty cool track site. I don't think I'm going to video any going out, but I think it's worth coming to see if you've never seen a dinosaur track before. Uh, we've seen some before that were better than these, but these are still... Pretty cool, lots of them. We probably saw, once you find what you're looking for, you, we probably saw 50 maybe. Yeah, there are a lot. Um, it says there's not that many, but if you really start looking, you can see them. All right, we completed three mile round trip and watch your kids close to the water's edge because it's a mm -hmm. steep drop to the water below. So, it's cool sight. Cool. Neat to see the tracks. All right, so there's the beginning of the arch. And then it goes up and over. And down the other side. 